Hello everybody. Today I am going to show you how to solve the Rubik's Cube easily and quickly. First you need to get to know your Rubik's Cube. Now, the pieces of the Rubik's Cube are edge pieces. One, two, one, two. They have two colors. And there are 12 edge pieces located in the middle row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Corner pieces have three colors. And they are one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, eight corner pieces located on the corners. Center pieces have only one color, and there are six center pieces on the entire cube. Center pieces do not move and represent the color of their side when it's solved. White will always be opposite yellow. Orange will always be opposite red. And green will always be opposite blue. Now you need to understand the cube notation. And you are not going to understand a single thing I am going to say while I teach you how to solve the cube if you don't understand the notation. So this face is the right face, this face, is the left face, uh, this face, the up face, this face is the down face, this face is the front face, and this face, the opposite side of the, of the cube, is the back face. To help us solve the Rubik's Cube, we will be using what are known as algorithms. And here's how it works. So, if you are to turn the right face one for turn clockwise, it would mean a capital R. If you would turn it counterclockwise, it would mean RI. So, so L, LI, B, BI, D, DI, F. FI, U, UI. Alright, now that you know about the Rubik's Cube stuff, we are now going to scrabble and learn how to solve the cube. So let's get started. Scrambled. First, we want to get the four whites facing up in the edges to create a daisy-like thing. First, we need to find our first white edge. In this case, it's right here. So we're going to move it up. And now, here's one. So, so, and if I turn the front face, it would be in the right, it would be in the right place on the top. Which is on the top, but it wouldn't be the right orientation. So I put it into the middle and then do that and that will be the correct orientation and now I'm going to move that up and now I am going to go ahead and, and put that into the middle bring it up and then turn that and now we have the daisy cross solved now we want to line up the edges with the centers now they don't line up as you can see, don't they don't all line up. So we want to create a white cross at the bottom of the cube. So to do that, we need to rotate the up face um, like that. So that is in the correct place. See, red, red, white. Now I'll rotate the front face 180 degrees. And then rotate this face, I have this face 180 degrees, or the up face, and now I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees. Now we got two edges solved. 
and two dot. And now I'm going to, this is already in the correct place. We'll just turn that 180 degrees. And now we use our final one right there. Turn that and turn the front face 180 degrees. And now we have the white cross and these line up. Now we want to solve the four corners, the white facing up. And once we do that, we will solve the first light of the cube. In this case, one corner is already solved and in the correct place. Um, orange, green, white. Or white, gr green, orange. And this looks like a fish with a head here and the tail here. But if you don't see this, just do this procedure with all of your corners. So here we have a piece that, like this. We want it to put it in the correct place, line that up, and now it's in the correct place. And we do this algorithm. R inverted, D inverted, R and now we have the piece in the correct place with the correct orientation. And now we're going to find another piece. Here's one. Here's one. And in this case, it's already in the correct place. We just do R, D, D. And now it is in the correct place, but it isn't oriented correctly because he, because is green, red, white green, red, white. These don't match. So we'll do this again two more times. And now it's solved. And now we have a sort of heart. Oh, and with the thing, this thing here. And now we need to solve that. Here it is. We're going to move it. It's, oh, um, actually move that there. And we do that. Do this algorithm one. Two and three times, and now the first layer of the cube is solved. If you did this correctly, these should line up like that, and these should line up. These should match. Um, orange, 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 blue, 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 green, 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 red, 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 and white is solved. Now we need to solve the second layer. We're going to hold the cube so that, so that the white side is down. And now we're going to find a top layer piece without any yellow on it. In this case, we're going to move it so it lines Move the up face so that it lines up. And now this needs to go over here. So we preform this complicated algorithm. U-I-L-I. U L U F U I there. Here's a situation where the piece needs to go to the right instead of to the left. It is the exact same algorithm except it's inverted. So you are U I R I U I F I and then we line the white up and then move the that all of these pieces have it there. So this is in the correct place, but it isn't oriented correctly. That needs to go up there, so we do this algorithm. If this needs to go there, we're gonna do this algorithm. U R U I R I U I F I U F. It should now be in the top layer, and we can line it up and put it there. Once you do this over and over, eventually you will solve the second layer of the cube. Now we need to solve the 
yellow cross. Now, when you're at the third layer, or the last layer, it gets pretty difficult. So, I highly rec so I highly recommend that you watch this video with paper and a pen. And also, that you pause this video frequently, because you are probably going to want to take this. Now, also, understand that we're not looking at the corners right now. So, we got a dot in this particular case. We're going to perform this move. F-U-R. U-I-R-I. And then turn that. And now, we have a vertical line. We have to turn this line so that it's going horizontally. And then we perform this move again. F. R U R I U I and then F I and now in this particular case we have a cross. Sometimes you will come across a situation where you get an L because we're disregarding corners. If you get the L, hold the cube so that this L is backwards like a J. And then we are going to perform the algorithm F U R U I R I and then a front move. And now in this case, I got the cross. Okay, let's say you come across a situation where no yellows face up. If you get this case, this yellow must be facing the left direction. Now we perform this algorithm. R U R I U R U U R I. If one yellow is facing up, a, f a yellow fish with the head here, tail here, hold the cube so that the fish's head is pointing that direction towards your left shoulder like this on the bottom left and now you're going to perform this move R U R I U R U U R I if you get two yellows facing up don't worry about their position you must have this yellow facing you. In this case, you are going to perform this move. R U R R I U R U U R I. And now we have one facing up. And when you get one facing up, you are going to keep that red towards or that yellow pointing that direction. And now you're going to perform this move again. R U R I U R U U U R I and now it's facing that direction. Put it there and now we're gonna perform this move again. R U R I U R U U R I and now we've solved the yellow side. If all four yellows are facing up, which is in this case, you're ready for the next step of solving the cube. Now, from the top, it looks like the yellow is solved. However, if you look from the sides, not really. As you can see, these are not in the correct place, and we need to position these so that they are in the correct place. First, we need to turn the up face until at least two pieces are in the correct place and yeah so they must be like diagonal so if they must be diagonal if they're across from each other then you had need to have these facing away from you in this case the the solved ones are diagonal so we need to be like this so b c so it must be a b or diagonally AD or BC. This case BC. 
So now we're going to perform this algorithm. Now this algorithm is complicated because it uses the back face. But, and it's quite easy to mess something up, but yeah. Perform this algorithm. R I F R I B B R F I R I B B R R U I. Now, when you have two corners that match, orange, orange, and these are across, green, or blue. You want to put these corners away from you, so they're on the back, A, B. So now we are going to perform this algorithm, R, I, F, R, I, B, B, R, F, I, R, I, B, B, R, R. And now, all four corners are in the correct places. Now you need to position the yellow edges correctly. You will have either three or four unsolved edges. If you have four unsolved edges, do the step twice. So in this particular case, we have three unsolved edges. So we need this to go here and this to go here. And, and once we do that, we will solve the cube. So the solved one's on the back and the middle one's facing you. And now, you're going to turn the front face 180 degrees. And now you're going to turn the up face so that these line up. And now you're going to do this. L, R, I. Turn that 180 degrees. And then L, I, R, U. And now we are only... A few turns of the up face or front face from solving the cube.